hello hello guys welcome back to our channel and in today's episode i'm going to talk about what happens after winning dv lottery so for those asking what next i thought it would be wise if i did a short video for you uh, for the procedures and processes that take place from the point of winning the diversity visa till landing in the USA. So step one, once you check on the results and find that you have qualified immediately, the first letter that shows uh, you have been randomly selected for further processing. So you will receive that message if you check your statuses and uh, then fill an online form called ds260 so make sure you fill the forms for all the beneficiaries in your list accurately to avoid unlocking which brings the delay so if there is a baby born after you have uh, submitted you can request the kentucky consular center that is kcc on the link on the description to add them so after filling ds260 form what should you do next so step two after you submit the DS-260, start preparing for the documents needed to go. So for the interview, you will need the following documents. First, you need valid traveling passport. So if you are the principal applicant, you will need to look for passports for all your beneficiaries, be it your wife, your husband, your children, be they adopted or by birth so after that you also need this document called birth certificate every one of you will need a birth certificate and thirdly a valid good conduct for principal applicant and it is applied online via e-citizen website so open an account with them i will put uh, the link on the description below how uh, you can uh, get access to that. So you also need KCSE certificate for the principal applicant. If the husband is the one who applied, his certificate will be needed. If the wife is the principal applicant, his or her certificate will also be required. So for the KCSE certificate, make sure you take it to National Examination Council offices. And the procedure is as follows. So go to National Bank. So my video, I'm using Kenya as a reference. Go to National Bank, request for a neck deposit slip and deposit 2,000 Kenyan shilling, 320 shillings and make a copy of your KCC certificate. Go to the neck offices in South Sea, Nairobi, capital, and tell them that you want to send your copy, the copy of your certificate to the U.S. Embassy. So you will be given a form to fill, and in that form, there is a place where you will fill your case number. For example, 2020-AF-000, blah, blah, blah. Also, they will give you the address to send the document. So I will give that. The address is um, U.S. Embassy, Nairobi, United Nations Avenue, Nairobi, P.O. Box 606 Village Market, and the code is 00621 Nairobi, Kenya. So supporting documents for married people include the following. If you are married, you need certified copy of marriage certificate from the Sharia House. For married Muslims, get it from the Cadiz Court. And also you need photos to prove that you have been together like for during dating till marriage and even current ones. And also passport photo sizes two by two for all members, at least each person to have four copies. And also you remember for the divorced applicants, carry your certified copy of divorce certificate. Um, for DV 2020 selectees, uh, check, uh, checklist uh, page two. So as you prepare all these documents, some of you who are current might start receiving what we call second notification letter depending on when you submitted your ds 260 form so immediately you receive the second notification letter which comes through email as a, a link click on it log in and print the letter out and at this point also register for dhl on this site i will put the the, the, the description on the link that is uh, usvisainfo.com and uh, 
10 days after visiting the neck the document should have been sent to the embassy so make sure you call the embassy to confirm whether they have received your certificate and once you have the letter at hand go book for medicals as soon as possible so don't do not delay when uh, what to carry when going to book for medicals as a principal applicant uh, can go alone to book and uh, he or she will need to carry passports for all applicants second notification letter immunization records if available this is for, is for kids especially and uh, after the medical preparation for the interview what to carry on the interview day so first thing you need to carry on the interview is a valid traveling passports for every member of the family uh, second first notification letter and the second notification letter third you need birth certificate original for everyone included and valid good conduct for the principal applicant you also need kcc certificate originals Supporting documents such as photos of couple and their families, ETC, certified copy of marriage certificate, passport photo sizes, that is two by two for all members, at least each person to have two copies. And for the divorced applicants, carry your certified copy of divorce certificate. So revise thoroughly all your documents, starting with KCC certificate. So if married spouses should revise one another's results for every subject, Read salary, all the DS-260s, what you submitted. So make sure what you submitted on the original entry is what is on DS-260 and you know it. And also principal applicants should be very informed with all the documents they carry and uh, submit to the consular, that is CO. And remember, important to note, for single parents whose children birth certificates bear the names of the baby daddy, try to get a consent letter from the from the baby daddy and for those uh, vice versa for a single mom and for those who have issues with birth name birth names on the same not the same as in the birth certificate or birth date issues make sure you get affidavits from an advocate so for dv 2020 selectees uh, group check page uh, page uh, checklist page three if you are connected on my social media so on the day of the interview what should you do first you need to go to the embassy in time do not panic maintain eye contact with the consular that is ceo smile a bit to release tension answer what you are asked so if it is a yes or no say that not many stories if it is a yes say yes if it requires you to respond as a no say no that's simple no more stories finally once your visa has been approved, wait for an email from the embassy and also from DHL showing that your visa is ready for pickup so that you can go and pick your passport with a visa on it. So the important numbers for the U.S. Embassy I'll put in the description and also for NEC if you might need. And uh, remember, always say the truth. That if you have nothing to hide, if you did not lie, you'll have nothing to worry about because... You know you cannot lie to the U.S. Embassy and expect them to give you a visa. So speak the truth and the, as uh, Jesus said, truth shall set you free. So just a recap of what I've said, what you need for everything. First of all, you receive first notification letter that shows you've been randomly selected for further processing. Then you fill the DS-260 form. You submit it after submission. You prepare the documents like traveling passports, birth certificates, valid good conduct, and uh, you can also apply that online if you don't have. Then you also need KC certificates. Make sure you take it to NEC offices for verification. I have put everything on the description, what you need to do the procedure what amount you need to deposit and where. Then after 10 days, make sure you call them back to make sure that they sent the, the certificate to the U.S. Embassy. Also call them with the number I will put in the link below to make sure that they indeed received your certificate. So after all that, if you are married, make sure you have supporting documents like marriage certificate and make sure it is... Um, certified from the sharia house and for muslims make sure from Kadiz court and also you have photos to prove that you've been together for all those years so that they will verify that your marriage is not friendly <coughs> also make sure if you are divorced make sure you have a certificate to prove 
So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for being with me, and I wish you all the best on your DV journey. Let's meet in our next episode, and bye-bye.